here in Israel. The organization Beit Izzy Shapiro is a pioneering leader and innovator in the field of disabilities. It has centers in the central city of Ranana and in Khalanswa, the country's first early intervention center for the Arab community. Now, since October 7th, Beit Izzy Shapiro has adapted its services to help thousands of displaced Israelis and wounded soldiers with various technology solutions and advanced therapies. So to hear more, we now welcome Amir Lerner, the CEO of Beit Izzy Shapiro. Thank you so much for being with us on International Day of Persons with disabilities. Talk us through the theme at Beit Izzy Shapiro, the significance of this day. Tell us more. Well, thank you, first of all, for having me here this evening. I think this year, more than any other year, the International Day for Disabilities has to make sure that we are all the time thinking of what it means for people with disabilities in a time of crisis. There's a crisis in Israel, obviously, going on now, but also in the Ukraine, developing in South Korea. And we need to all the time be thinking, how does this affect a person on the spectrum who has to be in a bomb shelter, surrounded by a lot of people under stress? What does it mean for somebody who's deaf and cannot hear the siren and suddenly sees everybody running around, around him, not knowing where to go? What does it mean for a person on a wheelchair who comes to a bomb shelter that is inaccessible? How do these people deal with stress, people with uh, intellectual disabilities? All these are things that beta Z is dealing with all the time throughout this crisis. And of course, how do we provide the services for the thousands and thousands of wounded uh, from this war in order for them to be able to lead dignified lives as they continue coping with their new disabilities? And as you say, when you're talking about a time of crisis, a war that Israel is experiencing right now, 14 months in, so prevalent as we speak, talk to us more about the technologies that have been adapted to help in terms of therapies for people displaced and also for wounded soldiers right now? Well, one of the things that Beta is, is doing in a new joint project called Tech for Heroes, together with the joint and with Restart Global, is seeing how we can enable soldiers as they leave the rehabilitation wards and go back to their homes to get all the technologies that they need to lead a dignified life. And it could be many things which are not the focus of the, uh, of the medical staff. For example, making sure that they have smart homes. So if they are using prosthetics and they take off the prosthetic at home, they can be able to open the lights, the air conditioning, the, the television, whatever they need from an app and not have to go up, uh, get up with a crutch or hop around the home in order to do the things they need. If they need special assistance to work on high counters, then there are special chairs that are ergonomically designed to enable this and we'll provide soldiers with this. And we know how to work with soldiers to talk and talk to them and understand their unique needs and provide customized solutions for each and every one. But what's even more important is that the way we're doing this with our partners is so that we create a work model and train others to be able to do the same thing that we are doing. And we are hoping to work together with the Ministry of Defense soon to develop courses for occupational therapists and other therapists to teach them the methodologies that we're currently developing. So this can be scaled more on a national basis and even taken to other places in the world in times of crisis. And of course, inclusion is such an important aspect of what you are describing. Your message to people who would be watching right now and possibly wanting to help to volunteer, get involved, help make a difference briefly, what kind of message would you want to send to them on this day? Well, first of all, like I started, think of the people in disabilities and how a crisis affects them. Think of the mental health. So many people are talking about mental health today. How many people are talking about mental health about people with disabilities? And if you'd like to volunteer, you can, of course, come to our website and, and sign up and volunteer, and we'll find everybody who wants to help, how they can help soldiers, and also the many people who have been affected by the war who are not soldiers and also need the help of anybody who can come and join the forces. Such incredible work, such powerful work at such an important time in the country. Amir Lerner, the CEO of Beit Izzy Shapiro, thank you for your time. And as we say in this part of the world, kola kavod to you and your team on the important life-changing work that you are involved in at such a crucial time in the country. Thank you very much for being with us on I24 News. Thank you for having me.